Hello, my dear Capricorn friends. This is Maxine Taylor, and I have your December forecast right here, and I'm going to share it with you in just a, a couple of minutes. Before that, though, I've got a couple of announcements that some of you may be interested in. First announcement, some of you have been asking me if I'm going to offer a special, a holiday special. Well, the answer is absolutely not only am I, am I going to, but it's up on my website right now. Just go to MaxineTaylor.com and you will see that I'm offering everything with the kitchen sink at a discount. Um, and by the way, this is going to be good through December 31st. What some of you have asked for, I've delivered, and then some. There are five things I want to share with you, and perhaps one or more will strike your fancy. First of all, I'm offering a discount, a very lovely holiday discount on the birth chart reading. <clears throat> the way I read the birth chart is I tell you everything that's right about you. Um, you are source. You are spirit in an earthbound body. So how could there be anything wrong with you? The birth chart tells you your life story for this incarnation. Oh, that's a little different. And when I read your chart, it's not from the standpoint of what's wrong. It's from the standpoint of what's fabulous about you. Now, I also include the hidden messages you received as a baby from well-meaning uh, parents and relatives, etc. And these this programming determines the story of your life for this incarnation, okay? I will share that with you, of course. Then I'm offering two forecasts. One is a six-month forecast. The other is a 12-month forecast. You can have either one you prefer. The beauty of having a forecast is you have your own cosmic roadmap. And I think one of the greatest gifts a forecast uh, can give you, if it is presented in a loving, caring way, is it can give you a sense of security when everything around you is going nuts. Um, I do my own forecast every year to see what all is coming up. And I like to know because I want to be prepared and I, I know I still have my free will, as do you. And so if you know what the game plan is, you'll know when to zig and when to zag. Okay. Then I am offering a special on your life mission. Everybody has a life mission. And interestingly enough, everybody is doing their life mission. They just don't know they are. So I help you bring it to consciousness and the minute you see it, the minute you hear it, the minute you recognize it, your life can change because you've got your path. You know where you're headed and you can rule out <clears throat> those things that don't apply to your mission or at least put them in a different uh, place of importance uh, along your life spectrum. This uh, wonderful session I do with you on Zoom. We do it face to face. So you have FaceTime with me and we're able to talk to each other. I think you'll love it. Everybody I've ever worked with has loved it. So that's something to think about. And then the final offering is a take back your life session. This three hour session can change your life. Once again, it's done on Zoom, face to face. So you get me in person with you. Uh, this Take Back Your Life session can go three hours or sometimes less. 
what it helps you do is see how you were programmed and how the story of your life came about. Now, you can see it and then you are able to release it. And I show you how. And then you are able to rewrite it your way. This is incredibly powerful. And I've had many people tell me how it has transformed their lives. So this is what I'm offering. And just go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com and choose the one or ones you want. In addition, I'm still doing um, mentoring for those people who would like to become an astrologer. So that is on my website as well. And since everybody's at a different level, these mentoring sessions take place once a week for an hour. And I teach you what you need to know. In other words, it's not a classroom. It's not one size fits all. I will tailor the, the sessions according to where you are at astrologically. Uh, some of you may be astrologers and you need pieces of information that you never got the first time. Great. Perfect. Some of you may not even know anything more than your sun sign. Great. I take you where you're at and we go from there. So those are the announcements. And now We've got to talk about your amazing forecast. So here it is. Dear Capricorns, let's start with Mars, the red planet. Wherever Mars is, is what you fight with and fight for. It's what comes first to you. And it has been in your 11th house of group activities and friends. And so you have probably turned to your friends uh, and made them number one in your life. Nothing wrong with that. On the 13th, however, Mars is going to move into your 12th house of behind the scenes activities, and you are going to turn into a disguised Pisces. You're going to want solitude and privacy, um, and you will seek it out, and you will get it. Okay, then let's talk about the yellow planet, the sun. The sun is the giver of life. It has been in your 12th house for a while. And it has indicated that that is the center of your life until the 21st, when it moves into your first house and you say, I'm doing what I want, when I want, how I want, because I can. It's Fantastic. You come into your own every year, this time when the sun moves from your 12th into your first. So on the 13th of the month, uh, Mars moves into the 12th. And on the 13th of the month, Mercury, the blue planet, which rules your mind, is in your 12th house of the subconscious. And on the 13th of the month, same day Mars moves in, Mercury moves out and moves into your first house. And what you're thinking about and talking about is you. Now, some people might ask, well, gosh, isn't that selfish? No, not at all. When you put yourself first, you can then put others in their proper place in your life. Now, behind the scenes activities, the subconscious, that's what the 12th house is. And it's hard to read your own 12th house because it's subconscious, but it does deal with the spirit world. It also deals with all behind the scenes activities so that you may be um, out of sight, but probably with your friends, not out of mind. So, you will have Mercury in your first house and be talking about yourself. You'll have the sun in the first house, your first house, and you'll be able to make yourself the center of your universe. 
hey, you've earned it. And then we have Venus, the pink planet. Let me get that out of there. Venus is love, it's beauty, it's money. It is the lesser benefic. Jupiter is the greater benefic. And I'm going to get to Jupiter in one second. Um, and so there, what, whenever Venus is in the first house, you love yourself. Now, Venus is going to go retrograde on the 19th of December. Right now, it is in the shadow of the retrograde. Every planet that goes retrograde has a shadow period before and a shadow period after the retrograde. And so my suggestion is that you don't make any changes, particularly beautification uh, changes, because Venus is beauty and love and music and art and all things lovely. Um, while Mercury is retrograde, um, you may find that you want to change your hairstyle, uh, your clothing style. That's okay. If you do it while Venus is retrograde, Venus is a very benefic, uh, loving, caring planet. So anything you start on the retrograde Venus that really doesn't belong there, you will either let go of or redo during the year. So this is cool. You got Mars and the sun and Mercury in the 12th. So there can be a lot of hidden uh, passion. And then you have Mercury, the sun, and Venus in the first. So Mars, the sun, Mercury in the 12th, then Mercury, the sun, and Venus in the first. It's beautiful. Now look at Jupiter here. Jupiter is sitting on your third cusp and Jupiter is the great benefic and it blesses you wherever it is. And since the third house is the house of communication, you're gonna be doing a lot of thinking and possibly a lot of talking. Um, and I think particularly after the 13th, when Mercury moves into your first house, you'll be uh, chatting it up about you. And that's fine, it's not a problem. It's not a critique. You, hey, you're allowed to do it, okay? Now, we have a new moon on December 4th. On the new moon, all energy starts moving forward. But this is in your 12th house of the subconscious. And all it says to you is pull back, retreat, sleep, get your ducks in a row. Um, However, it's not just a new moon when energy starts moving forward. It's a solar eclipse. And this means that this new moon is going to last till the next pair of eclipses come along in the spring of 2022. It's more than just a two week uh, gig, so to speak. It's there till the, ne the next two eclipses come along and it's strongest three to four months after it occurs. So this is a, a major uh, program in your life at this time, pulling back and retreating. That's, that's all right, it's preparatory. Two weeks later, we've got a full moon. Uh, and that's between either the 18th or the 19th of December, depending on where you live on this planet. Um, this particular full moon is in 27 Gemini. And in your solar chart, it's in your sixth house of work, health, and service. And so there can be a change that you make in your work, an addition that you add. Uh, it can be wonderful. So you, your, your whole life takes place the first couple of weeks behind the scenes, and then you get down to business. Mercury is in the shadow of the, will move into the shadow of the retrograde on the 29th. And then in uh, 2022, it will go retrograde, but we'll talk about that because uh, in 2022, because Venus, 
is going to be retrograde as well. So we've got a tag team going on here, don't we? Both Venus and Mercury retro. Good grief. This happens on occasion. So we'll talk about that as we stroll into 2022. But I do love this and I love the Jupiter on the third. So my dear Capricorn friends, this is your forecast. I hope you enjoy it. And please join me next month in 2022 when I give you your January forecast. So till we meet again, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.